If you're in AP Biology, you're probably gonna do this cell size lab, where you place three different size cubes, a one, two, and a three, into acid and they change color. During this lab, you're gonna be asked to calculate the diffuse versus non-diffuse areas. Remember that what changes color, this gray portion, is the diffused, while the center here is the undiffused or non-diffused. Typically, we take out all three cubes whenever the smallest one has totally diffused. For all three cubes, the diffusion is going to be 0.5 centimeters or 5 millimeters in on all directions. So for the one centimeter cube, it's all diffused. For the two centimeter cube, you have a one by one by one cube inside that's non-diffuse or undiffused. For the three centimeter cube, again, it goes in 0.5. It diffuses 0.5 in all directions. However, the undiffused is a two by two by two centimeter cube. So how do we calculate the diffuse versus undiffused? To calculate the diffuse portion for the two centimeter cube, you have to take the total volume minus the non-diffuse volume, and then you're gonna get the diffuse volume. So you're just basically calculating this gray area right here. So again, for your smallest cube, the one by one by one, it's totally diffused, so its total volume is the diffused. For your two by two by two, your undiffused is one by one by one. You have to take the total volume minus this one by one by one volume. For your three centimeter cube, you have to take the total volume minus this two by two by two volume, and then you're gonna get the diffuse volume.